Hi folks, let's chat for a moment about geotechnologies. Geo meaning where, right? It's all about the science of where. So geotechnologies. Now in 19, wait a minute, in 2004 the U.S. Department of Labor said there are three hot fields for the 21st century. Geotechnologies, nanotechnologies, and biotechnologies. And geotechnologies include several things. Web mapping, which is not just maps online, but all about doing things with software as a service, with cloud-based services. Web mapping. Understanding the world through manipulating, adding to, presenting with online geospatial data. It also includes remote sensing, looking at the world from space, and from UAVs, from drones, and with small satellites increasingly, and also includes geographic information systems, or GIS. So these three things are part of geotechnologies. And increasingly, people are asking the where question, whether it is in business, and uh, in health, in engineering, in uh, natural resources, in medicine, uh, we've already talked about health, in uh, biology, etc., geography, geology, public safety. So there's lots of fields, increasingly number, uh, many fields that are asking the where question, and because they're asking the where question, they are looking at geotechnologies with these tools. But guess what? There's more to, than just the tools. It's also spatial data, and part of the open data movement is helping the availability of data. So open data, and then also sensors from the Internet of Things. So increase, increasingly, you know, parking spaces, uh, weather feeds, uh, soil moisture, uh, traffic, um, uh, weather, uh, I already talked about weather, um, stream gauging stations, etc. And also citizen science, citizens as sensors. So increasingly we're getting a whole lot of data, in fact people are calling this big data, which is kind of a strange term because geospatial technologies have always been about big data. But big data, being able to do this all requires data and increasingly it's online so how do you know if it's any good how do you how can you gauge the quality of it etc that's one of the reasons why I write my spatial reserves blog with a colleague of mine I'm always trying to get students and others to understand the value of authoritative data and assessing data okay so another thing that we need though is this this tool right here this brain your brain is the most important tool of all because you're the one asking the questions right you are making decisions wiser decisions with tools but also data and the forces in society that were were actually uh, natural hazards um, crime right biodiversity loss ocean acidification Uh, urbanization, health, right, climate change, right, all these issues and problems actually have a wear component. They have a spatial pattern, a location, a relationship, and we can use these tools, these geotechnology tools, along with the questions that you're asking to address these problems to actually make a better world. So that's why I'm very passionate about geospatial technologies in education as we can see here. So that's the whys of where. Thanks.